Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Hold on to your seat or whatever you got to hold on to because we got a lot going on today. No, I'm just joking. No, I'm not, but I'm kind of, sort of, I don't know. You decide if we got a lot going on. So, I got this thing fully working. Um, one thing before we start. I've been, I'm going to be adjusting my microphone volume the next couple of videos coming out. So, uh, uh, I'm just trying to get it to sound better. So, yep, just so you know. Okay. So we completed this thing and it fully works. So if we go down here and watch this, we put in two items. Ready? One, two, three, go. Boom. Hello. How you doing? We got, we got, yep. Now this time it will gather some items. Take them. There we go. So what this ends up doing, I explained that last time. I'm just going to explain to you really quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just going to explain to you really quick what we ended up doing uh, for this. So what I ha end up having, what I ended up doing is when an item goes into this chest, it opens like that, right? It's gonna, it will send out a, a signal coming here saying that there's an item in here. Now once that happens, it's going to send something down to this T flip-flop, setting off this T flip-flop, and then opening or closing those depending on whatever state it's in. Now, once that happens... Items are going to start flowing through here. Once an item gets, I'm going to use these. Once an item gets right here, it's going to send out a signal here. And it's going to send a signal out. So as long as there's an item in here, so that means it's waiting to go into the minecart. As long as there's an item waiting into the, going into the minecart, this is going to be active, which is going to put this block right there so that this circuit right here can complete. See, that circuit can't complete right now. But as long as there's an item in here, this circuit will be able to complete, which means that this this will get sent back and forth. So what ends up happening is when this thing comes back, it comes from over there and comes this way, it's going to send this off, which is going to send this, turn that on, send this signal around, right? And then as long as there's, so as long as there's items waiting to be taken, this will be right there, which will allow this to complete this circuit. And then send the card off again. Because that's the only time I want items to send is I want items only to send when it when there's items waiting to be taken. And another function of this oops. Another function of, of this circuit right here is that um it waits enough time to get grab enough items to fill up all of those. So it's gonna wait. This will wait for five five items to get dispensed into the minecart at that point it will go so then that all of these fill up with an item as long as there's five items so that is that update and so let me hit that button those go back up and sends it off which isn't really a big deal so now we just close it up and there you go so now you no one knows that this is furnished unless if they know it's here and then i'm gonna do a little bit of something with the storage area too i'm gonna I think what I'm going to end up doing is like maybe sort of like a, a half thing right here where I'm going to decorate it up and make it look nice from maybe like a certain point onward and whatnot for my storage area. It's going to be all automated too sort of thing. Um, And then Doc M and his crew at the uh, Zip Crowd server, they uh they released the other day a video that fixes this witch farm in 1.8. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last couple episodes, I've shown a constant buildup, or maybe just the last episode, a constant buildup of witches g coming on up here. And I, I figured it was because they were tracking me when I would start walking up, but which is exactly what they would do. As long as they stand there, it's fine. But as soon as they start tracking something and start moving, then it messes the whole system up. Um... So we are going to fix that today. So that's what I'm saying. We just got all sorts of packed stuff going on. Um, we are going to fix that today to where we need to get to the side that has... Yep. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so the side that has three repeaters, or three comparators, we need to just do a little bit of work on these real quick. So what we have to do is we take up all these comparators, these two rows... And then we end up putting those there. And I think these have to be on two ticks, if I remember correctly. I hope it's two ticks. And then we need a block 
to go right here. That's why I have this this type of block. That block to go right there. And then we need to obviously cover these back up so that nothing spawns on these. And then also so that the repeaters don't give off any light. So that's one. Then we have to go upstairs. Oh, you know, that's also why I brought some of this so that I can do a little bit of that. All right? Mm -hmm. And then we also have the one up top, which this is the side with three comparators. So let's go up here. I just dig this out a little bit. Dig it, mine it, whatever. However you want it, however you want to say it. To each his own, right? So let's go right there. Comparators. Oh, there's a comparator that fell off that side. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Tick, 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 tick. I hope it's two. I'm pretty sure it's two. If I were, if even if I think about it, two is, two seems like the legitimate amount to, to do it with. So please, yes. I was hoping that'd reach. Dude. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie daisies. All right, let's just stack back up. There we go. There we go, and we are done. So now this witch farm should be good to where uh, I should be able to, when I AFK now, AFK fishing, I should be able to have this on too so then it won't get backed up. Let's just test it real quick, right? So if we come back here. Well, they went through. The question is if they track me, will they go through? Be quiet, cows and sheep. You guys are too loud. You guys are too loud. Come on. See, it looks like it's working. You know what, though? That... That was the issue right there. So maybe maybe just nothing spawned over here. Let's just reset that real quick. Because that's what the issue was, was that right there. It was shifting one way, but it wasn't shifting back the other way. So... You know, I might have to re let's reset all these up here too. Oh, if you can make the jump, which you can't, so let's just stack up. Okay, stop glitching. There you go. Please. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Perfect. So now this should, like I said, it should work. We just got to get out of out of the radius area of, of it. This should have this should have fixed it all. So let's just sit here and watch. So what are you guys, how are you guys doing? Everyone doing good? I still have to get some villagers up there. That's a task in itself. I'm, I'm thinking about hiring Yeti to bring him over here, or at least do him, because he's the, yeah, that looks like it's, that looks like it's right. Uh, I'm thinking about having Yeti do it, because he's kind of the villager guy this, this, uh, this map, so, this season, so I've been thinking about hiring him just to come and give me some, you know? One other thing that we're gonna do in this episode, it's going to be a lot of like redstone-y kind of update thingies. Uh, is I want to do something down here when, when I jump down there, I don't consistently bound, boom, 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 jump and stuff. I want it to be when I get down there, I fall through tripwire, it then puts some blocks above me, and then it, it helps stop me quicker. And then at the same time, it will open up a door for me to get out. Just a little bit of that. Uh, and then, then we have this whole chicken issue, I guess, if you want to call it an issue. Let's see, did this fill back up? No. Okay, I haven't really been around to. But the problem is then, here is, let's see, there's lava, let's... That should've, that should've went off or something. Is that... Oh, come on, why are you not going up? Daylight sensor's there. It's day out. That should be switching. Oh, well, whatever. Um... That is one thing that I, I do think I have fixed, but I just have to test a little bit more on here, is I have to move that back uh, dispenser. I have to move it down one. But I just have to make sure that when I do that, that the um, that the chickens, when they grow up, they are in an area to burn. Because when I do that, when I move it down one, their heads peek out of here when they're small. So just their heads will be like... They'll be down like half a block farther than what they are. So I have to go back onto my test world and just make sure that when they grow up like that from, from an egg, they'll, they'll still die how I want them to. Because the problem is, is it works perfectly fine when I use a chicken, like, like spawn egg. But when I use a chicken hatch egg like this, it doesn't work at all. 
So, um, I there must be some sort of mechanism that's different between them. To where, oh, here's another glitch. Have you guys seen this yet? <laughs> There's a vine there. But it's like, woo! When you're on the inside of the vine, you can't see it. It's like, uh, it's like Attack of the B Team, <laughs> but it's not supposed to be. Um, so yeah. <laughs> those, those are just a little quick updates on things. Um, I got that thing working this. Oh, see, now it killed him. So I should have some chicken down there. Let's go check it. Let's go check my chicken. Let's see what my chicken's like. So it's these three right here. Just take those out. Uh, see, it's, it's not like extraordinary. It's not like extraordinary or anything, but you know, it does a job. And it's really just like a little kind of project that I'd like to work on. So that's really is what it's all. I mean, that's really what all it's for. Um, and that. So I think I'm going to do some AFK at my fishing spot. And, um, then we will work on that down there and getting that all working. Hopefully in this episode. Yeah. Well, definitely in this episode, but yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is look at this. We got 34 blocks plus a little bit more of iron. So Zangief uh, paid up on his uh, fish payment. And also, I he also paid like a stack or two for a future payment of iron or something like that. I can't exactly remember. Hey, any far starters, look away. Look away. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. No, you didn't. All right, so let's go work on our little door thing here. Um, so if we go right here. This is, this is the door that I want. No. We are going to have to get rid of this. All of you get rid of Bye. Ooh. I, I did not bring enough opinions of stickiness. Oops. Um, you know what? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe we just don't need it going all the way. Uh, I could leave. Actually. I could leave that. Yeah, I could just leave that. I could leave that. These two are the two that go somewhere. So we're just gonna build. See if see if we can build this really quick. Like so, these uh these two are the two that bring those with them, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we need some way for me to be caught by this all the time so far. I've been like coming right down here. So if we could, huh, if we could, what is it? It's not that one. One, two, three, it's a third one. So, um, one, two, three, right there. We could put a hook, a trap wire right there. Nope, not right there. Right there. I want you... <laughs> Can't you tell where I want you to go? Gosh dang it. Oh, I don't have any half slabs either, do I? Nope, but you know what? I sure can make one. Look at that. See, that's why you always have have this sort of stuff on you. Um, Then we go up here. Why, why are we using regular stone? When I could use... Okay, so there we go. Since I always fall down like right here, if we put another one like right... I don't want to put one like right there. I want it to like... Hmm. Is there any way for me to, like, do this at a diagonal? I don't think so. What if I... Huh. That won't work. Let me think about this. So, what I decided to do was get a little bit more technical than necessarily I probably would have had to. Um, I decided just to put a block out there. If, if something drops on it, this guy will get it when they fall, you know... Not a big deal, but I decided to get a little bit more technical probably than I needed to. Like I said, I still haven't tested out that this dropping actually stops me. I had to put it two blocks up, so it's going to have to be like perfect timing. It's going to be interesting to see if I die or what happens. But like I said, I went decided to get a little bit more technical than I probably had to. I'm um, going with a T-flip flop here just because I have a little bit of an idea here for this. So let's, let's get this guy all set up, shall we? Um, no one knows a T flip flop. You just put that down there. Put one of these. I don't even know if it needs to be a sticky piston. I don't even think either of those need to be sticky pistons, to be honest with you. But then we're gonna take this. This. So once once we press the button, see how that's right there. Press the button. Right. 
switches, that goes on. That's the whole point. So then we take that, and we're going to run that up to this block right there so that it can activate both of those. Perfect. Look at that. So then it activates both of these once that happens, right? So this will be its normal state. Okay, you're supposed to activate both of those. Nope, I'm sorry. You're right. You're not supposed to. Now you are. <laughs> sorry. I, f I forget that sometimes. So that's its normal state. So then we drop down. Boom, boom, boom. And then we hit that. What just happened? Oh, you're getting... You don't want to move. Why you no want to move? Um, you're supposed to, oh, you're supposed to, like, do magic, go. Oh, you know what, I think, I think that's getting, I think that's powering. Yep, that line is powering something, or one of these lines, something's, That red, that piece of redstone being there is powering something that it shouldn't. So we just fix that by going around it, right? But no, we can't because we need it. We need that block to be activated. See, okay, so let's actually one second again. There we go. So we just do a little bit of redstone manipulating so we put it up here and we just do a little uh two block uh stack up with half slabs to make sure that that pit block that right there doesn't get powered so this will be its default state right so if we close this off now this should be good and now i say this should be good unless if this doesn't work if this whole contraption with the oh can't block that off um, if this whole contraption with all this doesn't even work, well then we'll have to come back to planning, right? So this is the plan. It, you drop, I drop down, boom, boom. I get stopped right away, hopefully. Hit this, retracts the doors. We're going to keep that like that. I don't, but then I want it to be, this gets taken away. I'm going to, I'm going to redo this a little bit, but what's going to end up happening is I step on a pressure plate right here. Right? Step on a pressure plate, which will activate that. And then we want this to go actually and activate. We need to activate this T flip flop line right here. So. Uh oh, I just took out that. I just took out that redstone block, didn't I? Yep. We're going to have to put that back. Because <laughs> that needs to be. That needs to be powered. So I'm going to figure this one out too and be right back. So what we end up figuring out here was we take this line. I put a not. Ooh, that, that's not going to. That shouldn't affect it. Putting a. Yeah, because it's not redstone. So we're putting a redstone torch here so that it can negate right here. And it doesn't affect that, that line at all unless if I step over the pressure plate. So we have a double knot gate going on. Or knot gate going on situation going on here. Where that line will, that torch will deactivate when I step on the pressure plate, deactivating this line, activating that red torch, activating this line to reverse the T flip flop. So if we go here, right? Now here's the full working thing. We are in here. Boom, boom. We just did our thing. We just landed. Oh, yay. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Ooh, everyone doing okay? Good, good. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, we talked to Mr. Up the, upside Down uh, uh, Iron Golem, dude. So we're stopped. Boom. Hey. Oh, thank you for letting me out. Thank you. Oh, you want to close behind me? How thoughtful of you. And that's how it goes. So now, if someone wants to go in here for some reason, they can. But there's no real reason to do it. Uh, hopefully, I mean, mobs go in there, they're dead. So it don't really matter. Uh, we could even make this like a... Just sort of like... Oh, you're up there. Okay. Like, nothing... No way to really get up there because there's no reason to go up there. So that should be, I mean, that should be that. That That's awesome. I took another, uh, 
slime block there. I took one away from here. I need to get rid of some of these ugly things. I wonder. Don't have one on me. Anyways. <laughs> so, guys, we did a little bit more of redstone today. Uh, I hope you... Oh, I didn't show you guys this. Look at this. So, this is all blocked off now. At least I don't think I showed you guys this. This is all blocked off now. Maybe I did. But you hit a little button back here. If I can find it. You gotta find it, though. You gotta be good at this. There you go. Boom. And now I can get back there. Instead of just having it open, I did some little... I, I did some compact redstone work back here. And uh, I really like my T-flip-flops. See? T-flip-flops with buttons are nice. Especially when you're trying to hide things. So now there's two ways. You can either hit that button right there. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, guys. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next episode, hopefully we can either have hired your to get us some villagers up there and get some iron golems going, or have got some ourselves. But, uh, like always, guys, my name's Cluster. I hope you guys find this very awkward. Me going so slow. <laughs> Anyways, dream big.